If you go shopping for this Acura RDX, especially the $58,000 A-Spec Elite model you see here, you're gonna hear all about the uh, snappy turbocharged four-cylinder engine that's rated at 272 horsepower and the 10-speed automatic transmission with the paddle shifters behind the steering wheel and the dynamic suspension controls that allow you to dial up snow or comfort or sport or just plain old normal. And you'll hear about the aggressive styling here, especially the, the grill, the grill treatment and the creases and the curves and all the body panels. You'll hear about all of that, but you won't hear about this because no one's gonna talk about this except me. And that's what how much you can fit inside the back of this sport utility vehicle. Yep, we got all this back there. Man, this is a huge cargo area for what is essentially a sporty, compact, luxury SUV that competes against all the European models and a bunch of Japanese ones as well. The cargo area has some nifty details. You've got storage in the corners, you've got tie downs, you have an underfloor storage cabinet here, and the seats themselves, well, they flip and fold very, very easily. The RDX has been Acura's top selling SUV for the past seven years. It sold in a variety of different trim levels, starting at about $46,000 for the base model and up to $61,000 plus for the fanciest editions. The space back here is pretty generous too. There's decent leg room, very good head room, shoulder room. It's pretty comfortable. This tester has these sexy red and black sport seats. Acura sells the RDX as a high-tech, aggressively styled alternative to the German SUVs like Audi's Q5. And so you find active sound control, which uses electronic tools to manage noises and keep the cabin quiet. There's also wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and Amazon Alexa is built in. The Acura Iconic Drive is part of the technology package, which delivers 27 unique interior lighting combinations. This cabin is a, a little bit over the top, a bit like Boy Racer gone crazy, but the Acura designers have clearly worked hard to distinguish the RDX from competitors like Audi's Q5. From the driver's seat, things get even more interesting. You know, when you fire it up, all sorts of things light up in the instrument cluster. This is a white on black design, and it really looks very fighter, fighter jet-like. The flat bottom steering wheel tells you you're in a racy SUV. The adaptive damper system gives you more responses, more aggressive, firmer responses in sport mode. You will find driving the RDX is a different experience entirely than some of those more sedate German models. The, the throttle response, even in normal or comfort mode, is more aggressive than in most of its German competitors. It seems to me that Acura is looking for a more youthful buyer, or at least somebody who imagines themselves to be youthful. And that may be a turnoff for the older baby boomer buyer who is looking for a comfortable and sporty looking SUV, but doesn't want the aggressiveness. So if you are older than say 50, you probably won't like this. If you're under 50, you probably want to take it for a test drive. Thanks for watching. I'm Jeremy Cato, and this is Cato Car Guy.